Well, we noticed at our new house that there's an issue with the garage door, and that is there's a huge gap when the door shut at the top. You can see it's several inches wide. And that's a result of this being an 18 foot wide wooden door. It's a really big garage door and it's solid wood and it's really heavy and when it's up, the weight of it causes it to sag. Now, typically the way you would fix that is to install a metal strut like this. There's actually two on the door, one here and one here but those are completely bent as well. They've probably been up there for a while. They were probably good when they were installed, um, but over time, those have become bent too. They're kind of like I-beams to provide strength, but those have also become bent. So one way I could fix it is to take those off and try to put a new I-beam, a new strut on there. That might fix it. I could take those off and try to re-bend them, flatten them out, and bolt them back on. Um, and that might be the, you know, the ultimate way to fix this, is to put on a new strut to try to straighten that out. But I think this is an old door. Those boards are sagging. There's no real way you're gonna, gonna fix that to straighten those out. So I came up with a different solution that may or may not work, but I'm gonna give it a try. So let me tell you what that is. So this is the material I've decided to use. It's actually an old roll of carpet padding. And it's at least a quarter inch thick, if not a little wider and it's really durable and strong and it was free so I don't feel like I'm wasting it. And I'm going to have two rows on the top to try to make a seal, one row along the side. I'm going to start by trying to nail, uh, staple it up with a staple gun. So hopefully this will work, the staple gun right into the wood. If not, I'll use, I have a staple gun with my air nailer that's a better staple and I'm just going to put, like I said, one row on the sides and then two at the top, top to try to make a better seal and hopefully that works. Um, I'm cutting the top rows uh, five inches wide and the sides a little thinner. I'm hoping this is going to work. I got to cut a lot more strips. Like I said, it's a big door so I have uh, three six footers for the top. I got to cut three more for the top and then two for the sides and we'll staple it up. So here's all the uh, carpet pad pieces that I've cut. And I don't know if I'm gonna need all of these, but I'm gonna start with one at the top. And I'm going to attach it. I was thinking I was gonna put one piece on the door itself, kind of like this, and then one piece on the, the wall, either like this or right at the bottom. Two pieces on there, they'll kind of form a flap and hopefully seal that uh, gap in there. And I'm going to try to use my staple gun first. Let's see if the staple gun can get through this and into the wood. Hmm. It might actually work. It seems to be holding okay. Staple. Right there. There's a staple now? Yeah, try it. No one might Okay, so we have the first row stapled up there, and it actually turned out really well. It sealed it off nicely. Um, you can see it, it flaps and covers everything up, but I want to set one more that lays on top of it and kind of sandwiches it down, just as a second measure. But so far, it's worked out pretty well. So this one is stapled to the door, like that. And then this second row, I want to staple to the wall and that'll sit down on top like that. I just kind of realized that this top flap is not going to be sitting on top like it is now. The garage door is going to come shut and it's going to push this down. So what I'm going to do is open up the garage door then staple this on because typically this is going to be underneath this first flap. Well, the next problem I'm seeing is I cannot staple it in with the door open because there's not enough room when the door is open to get in here and staple it. But this is typically how it's going to be. It's going to be down and that other flap will shut on top of it. But uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to staple it in with the door shut. So that's how it'll sit like that. 
the gap isn't that bad at the side. It does uh, taper down so it gets wider up at the top and goes down to nothing at the bottom. So I'm going to try to put one of those on the side. Well, I ran into a bit of a problem with these uh, ones that I put on the side. The door wouldn't shut because it was getting pinched at either end and it was uh, stopping the motor going back up because there wasn't enough room to shut. But if you look outside, let me show you outside. If you look outside, there is a gap here, which you can see, but at the other end, it's actually tight and sealed. So I don't think we need the uh, insulate the carpet padding on both sides. We only need it on this one top edge over here. Otherwise, it's mainly just at this top here, which is all sealed now. So instead of putting the carpet padding the whole length on both sides, I'm just gonna put it right here. Hopefully it doesn't er interfere with the motor and it can seal the whole door off right there. Okay, it's all done. Um, my recommendation is if you're thinking about doing this, all you really need is one flap up here at the top. This one here, you don't really need it because there already is a little bit of a rubber sealant gap here. I thought this was gonna sit on top and kind of sandwich it together, but really this one flap up here on the top would be just fine. So if you're thinking about doing this, all you really need to do is get some sort of rubber or carpet padding or some sort of heavy duty material, staple it to the top like this, and that should be fine. So let me know what you think. Um, yeah, the right answer is to straighten out this curved board, but this is a temporary, quick, cheap, easy, one hour fix. Good luck, thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.